Hey Gemini, welcome back to the channel guys. So we're going to go ahead and get started with your weekly reading. We're going to see what is going on with you guys for this week. Now guys, keep in mind that these are general readings, general love readings, so they may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does, leave the rest behind. Time is fluid, so whenever you find this reading, you are meant to hear it. And there is no gender in tarot, reverse the roles as need be. Alrighty, cross watchers, you are always welcome, guys. Don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs for additional messages and clarity regarding your situation. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what is this overall energy for you all this week. What can you expect? What's coming towards you this week? Universe, archangels, spirit, angel guides, and guardians. Please help me give my Gemini's clear and concise messages. What is their overall energy here? Ooh, you got temperance. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have the Eight of Swords energy. So I feel like you've been dealing with quite a bit of problems here, Gemini. But this week is going to be a week of peace, harmony, restoration, hangman energy. Like you're going to be falling back. You're not going to be really entertaining shenanigans. If you were having any problems with any family members or friends, you're going to pull away from the situation because you just need some time to yourself right now. If there's any uh, misunderstandings between you and your partner or you're currently in separation, again, you're going to be pulling away from that situation just because you need to get some clarity for yourself. With the star here, you know that there's much needed downtime, healing energy. Um, you may be having some struggles with your finances. You've been feeling like things around you, people around you have been very unstable. So you're choosing to kind of move away from people and kind of go a different direction right now. Why? Because you're trying to find your peace. You're trying to find your balance. Now, keep in mind, this past week, there's been, there was a full moon with an eclipse. So it's been a lot of energy, a lot of things going on. Um, what is it? Mars is in retrograde. So everything is kind of going backwards right now. Um, where there was peace and where there was harmony, there's a lot of discontent and a lot of turmoil. So you're in this place right now where you're just telling yourself, I just need some space. Rather than continuing an argument or continuing a battle, I just rather just keep to myself for a bit. Um, but then you got this eight of wands energy here where they're either you're, you're communicating this to someone or you're just going forward on your own. Because you got the six of wands here in the reverse where there is no victory and no success. But then look at this whole pile just flipped up. But the only card I'm taking here would be the Three of Cups energy, which would be the possibility of a reunion and a reconciliation for you and for someone who you've been on the outskirts with. So this week is going to be a week of peace, a week of harmony, a week of just keeping to yourself, feeling like everything around you has been kind of falling apart. You will talk to whomever it is you're having the problem with, but it's just not going to be early the week early in the week it might just be somewhere along the week so let's see what happened here in the recent past for my gemini universe archangels spirit angel guides and guardians there's an emperor energy here for the recent past and the six of pentacles with the knight of pentacles so something was working out something was in in a, in a stable energy here and all of a sudden it just kind of went upside down okay it become unstable um Whomever you were dealing with was taking their sweet old time to come towards you and fix something to talk to you. Like I said, this may very well have to do with a, a relationship here. But there's this energy of everything was stable and, and out of nowhere, it just kind of flipped. What happened in the recent past universe? Eight of Cups. Somebody decided to walk away. Why did they walk away, universe? Page of Wands energy, possibly towards another energy, towards another connection. Um, see, the communication between you and whomever it is that we're talking about here, it went from it being a very stable union to a very unstable situation. Where somebody took their sweet old time to come towards you and try to fix this. And versus sitting down and communicating with you, they could have chosen to walk away and go towards another energy here. Where they ultimately feel like there's a four of wands, a happily ever after. But the knight of wands in the reverse, there is no commitment in that situation. So if someone decided to walk away or leave the home because there was a lot of problems, that was the wrong decision to make. Because now it's causing this overwhelming sadness here. It's causing this confusion. It's making it seem like there's, there's way too many people in, in the situation. 
And now there's just a lot of discontent. What is this current energy right now, universe? What is the current energy between Gemini and this person? Seven of Pentacles. Both of you are kind of keeping to yourself at the moment. Wondering why this connection fell apart when it was once a beautiful, stable union. You're both looking at the situation as to why did all the instability come in? Why did all of these problems occur when you felt like this was your nine of coins? This was the person that you were meant to be with. You both are thinking this. You both are, are in this energy right now. Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. What is this energy here? Yeah, High Priestess. So what I'm getting here is that you both are in this spiritual energy right now where you're wondering whether or not it'll be safe to come back to this connection. And if you do choose to come back to the connection, will it work out? Because even though you look at this person like your Nine of Pentacles energy, there's a lot of discontent and a lot of miscommunication. Um... Your person, like I said, could have decided to go towards someone else, or you decided to go towards someone else. But the point of the matter is that there was a lot of a lot of miscommunication here, and I do feel like not necessarily a third party, but someone did interfere trying to um, give the wrong advice. What's going to happen in the near future in this situation, universe, archangel, spirit, angel, guides, and guardians? You got the sun in the reverse, and you got the nine of cups. So I feel like you both are going to be in this place right now where you want this wish fulfillment. You want this clarity, but you both are in this place and the empress in the reverse where neither one of you guys are wanting to take that leap of faith towards each other. Now you see this connection being a beautiful connection. You know, regardless to the misunderstandings, you see that you can have a life with this person, but you both are being stubborn right now. And this Empress in the reverse, when she gets in her energies and she wants to be stubborn, she can be a true stubborn individual. And she can block all wishes and all positivity to her connections because she chooses not to see things a certain way. She's also a very jealous, controlling individual. So if there was a lot of jealousy and control issues here, that's something that has to be re removed and eliminated. But with the sun here, it's like there's a possibility for happiness for clarity, for wish fulfillment, but you both are in this stubborn energy here. What is the possible outcome here? Universe, Archangel, Spirit, Angel, Guides, and Guardians. The Four of Coins. So somebody here has to let go of that, of that stubbornness and step up to the plate and bring the clarity. Someone's going to have to take the initiative here if you want the situation to be resolved. Because I feel that the more you and this person continue staying in the stubborn energy and not wanting to communicate with each other, the more you guys are going to continue going apart. There's going to be missed opportunities here. Then you both are going to end up being in this Nine of Swords energy because neither one of you guys took advantage of the possibility of a beautiful Ace of Cups here with a Ten of Cups energy here. Stop being stubborn. Okay, that's the thing that you guys have to stop being stubborn because there is way too much going on here. And you all need to really get your energies back on, on track. Take this week to rest, rejuvenate, and clear your mind. But don't take too long. I, I got to be honest with you. Don't take too long because you may end up missing an opportunity here. Now, cross watchers, this could be you. Or Gemini, this can be you. But someone here is going to have to take that initiative to reach out. What is the advice that we have here for Gemini Universe? Let go of the burdens. Let go of the, the, the stubbornness. Let go of the negativity. Okay? Let that all go because if you truly love this person, you guys have the potential for a three of cups energy here. But you give it more time and you sit on this energy, you can potentially allow someone else into your connection. And someone will be taking a leap of faith here. And that is the last thing you want to do. So you are being guided to take this leap of faith. Let go of the anger. Let go of the toxicity. Let go of the, of the control issues. And start working on this connection because there has to be clarity brought to this situation. Like, you all really need to bring clarity here. It was a misunderstanding that just escalated more and more and more. And because you guys are letting it just sit there, it's just causing even more drama. Okay? Take this week, rest, rejuvenate, heal, and come back towards the connection and resolve the situation. The fact that this is a beautiful connection, it really is. It's just that you two are being very stubborn. Okay? All right, guys, I hope and pray that this reading gave you the clarity that you needed. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you're interested in a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.